There was this young priest, and uh, you know, coming back to the Catholic faith, seeing this young priest on fire was just amazing. He he went up to where, if you've been at the Shrine of Little Flower, there's a Holy Spirit and up there in the wing, and he was up there proclaiming the new evangelization, the gospel, how they're spreading, how they're going to go in the streets, and they're going to proclaim Jesus Christ, and how they're just going to you know, pour out the new evangelization. And I'm sitting in the pew going, just over, like, over, the Holy Spirit's like all over me. I just start weeping, weeping. It was the most beautiful thing hearing this. The presence of the Holy Spirit was so strong over this priest. And the whole mass, like, it was just amazing. And um, then I, uh, we got done with the mass, and I went and walked around, you know, and just checking things out. And the Spirit's talking to me. I'm just hearing the Lord, like, never before. Like, it was just amazing. Like, it was awakening, like, my inner person, all these new adventures that was coming did back. Father, did you meet him? Yeah, and so when I came around, uh, I noticed there was the father standing in the back. He was getting changed or something. They were taking this stuff. And here he's there like this lady see me. She goes, hey, you want to come back here and talk to the father? I said, oh, my gosh. I can come back and talk to the father. She goes, yeah, come back. I'm like, oh, I was so excited because this priest, I couldn't wait to talk to him, you know. So I go back there. And father Patrick, he sees me and he goes, his name is Father Patrick. And he goes, come, come here. But he goes, what can I do for you, young lady? And I'm like, oh, I said, Father. And I began to share and how, you know, the Holy Spirit began to talk to me and, and bring me back. And like, it's been 40 something years that I hadn't been back and told him all just real quick little things about what happened. He's like, oh, daughter. Like, he goes, I know why you're here. He goes, I know why you came back. And I said, I said, oh my gosh, like, I could see the Holy Spirit presence come all over this, like over him and us. It just engulfed us. And he began to meditate like he's just taking it in. And then all of a sudden he comes out and he, he just goes, daughter, you came for the Eucharist. I hear the Spirit of the Lord said, you came this far and you came for the Eucharist. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, like in my heart, I kind of knew because those were questions I already had been asking my, my Heavenly Father in my own self. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this priest is prophesying to me, you know? And he's like, daughter, you came this far and there's a saint, like there's water on the sandy beach, she goes, and there's a there's a jewel box and you're, you just dug it out and you just opened up the first jewel. He goes, I, the, I hear the Spirit say, how much farther are you willing to come, daughter? How much farther are you willing to come see? I have much more to show you. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, the spirit is so strong. He's like, daughter, are you filled with the spirit? I go, father, you're filled with the spirit. This is beautiful. And he's like, oh, he goes, I got to get your number. We got to start talking. So then I met to talk with him and it was like, okay. So now here I'm in and we're doing uh, talking. I'm sharing a little more of my story. Then I'm doing a confession that I didn't really think I was doing confession. But all of a sudden I'm just speaking my story and something came out that I had forgotten as a little girl, and I couldn't believe it. And it was there, and it came out, and it was like, it was all, all of a sudden I got set free from this thing that I've been running away from as a little girl that's been hidden so long, I forgot about it. And I was always wondering what, something was always there, you know. But in the meantime, you know, I told him about my confirmation. Like, I ran before I got my confirmation. I didn't get my confirmation. And I've been married four times. And I and he goes, oh, you need a gnome. You he goes, and you, you need your confirmation. He goes, we have the RCIA class. And this, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, get me cleaned up. Like, if I'm supposed to get cleaned up, Father, like, Give me those things, like, I, tell me what I need to do because I am so ready. Because if I'm here right now, I know my time is now. And so that's what began to happen. I just began to step in like never before. I was hungry to learn about the Catholic faith again and the saints. And it's, it was awesome.